OK YouTube community. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. It's Friday night here. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, golden era and uh, what that defines to me. And, uh, you know, that's when I was bodybuilding. And, uh, you know, we didn't know it was the golden era there. And it was just uh, a lot of fun and to be in the gym at that time. And uh, so when I first got into it and I started reading the magazines like Iron Man and Muscle Builder, and those uh, um, mags, um, they talked about the Greek statues, you know, and uh, you know you, they'd show you pictures of Steve Reeves or Reg Park, and and you could see that in, in their physiques, you know, that, that that that's what they were like. So that was uh, one of the things we were striving for, and uh, one of those um, qualities is that the neck, the upper arms, and the calves are relatively the same size. That's one of the ways that. Uh, we thought about proportions and then, uh, you know, um, back then people wanted to be big but you wanted to be proportioned right and you wanted a small waist and you wanted big shoulders and you wanted that nice V taper that uh, I don't see nowadays because the modern bodybuilders have just a, a huge amount of torso mass that uh, the golden era didn't have and so uh, um, uh, also, you know, the thin skin look wasn't a part of that era. Um, guys either maintained a little bit more uh, fluids in their system or they maintained a little bit more body fat. I don't even, I don't even remember anybody ever talking about body fat uh, back then. It wasn't even <laughs> something that people measured, you know. It's just like, did you look good or did you not look good? And uh, are you, Do you feel you're lean enough or, or are you not lean enough? So that's some of the things, you know, um, health. Uh, I wanted to be healthy. I didn't lift weights, you know, I mean, again, the, they looked healthy back then and strong. They used to look like really strong guys. And uh, nowadays, if you look at the bodybuilders on stage, they look like they're straining just to breathe. And uh, the, you know, the fake tans and the, the gaunt look, they don't look healthy to me. You know, I mean, the, the sport has lost its, its direction as far as... Uh, uh, health goes, and you, we all know why. I don't need to go into the gory details of why. Cardio in the golden era. <laughs> Lift faster. Shorten your rest periods. Um, some people, you know, you know, there's reports that Arnold and Franco uh, ran on the beach, and you know, they bicycled and stuff like that. But you know, people just kind of uh, did activities more than a, a concentrated uh, cardio effort. You know, and again. Um, when they were leaning out, they just shortened their rest periods between sets and, uh, you know, to 30 seconds sometimes, you know. So uh, uh, try that. If you want to lose weight and, and get in shape and get ripped, try 30 seconds between sets and be ready to adjust weights when you do that. So you're not going to be lifting what you were lifting before. Then, um, you know, when I first got into it, I read the magazines and I tried a lot of the routines. And, you know, after a while, I realized, well, the routines in the magazines, those are uh, like finishing routines just before a contest. That's not what they're doing uh, on a regular basis because you just couldn't maintain that type of volume if you were to uh, um, try the routines that were in the magazines. You could do them, you know, for four or six weeks or something like that. But, you know, after that, even as a teenager, which you can recover really quickly as a teenager, I realized that it was uh, an excessive amount of work. So, um, you know, um, I think a lot of guys back then did three-day full bodies when they were in off-season or they did a four-day uh, upper, upper lower split, pretty much what I run on my normal basis now when I'm uh, not really doing this little series here where I'm kind of showing you what I did when I was uh, bodybuilding back then. Um, and then, you know, the, uh, the contest routines were five-day or six-day routines, you know, uh, basically the routine I'm kind of doing now would be more like a, almost like a contest prep maybe kind of situation that, that three day on, one day off, three day on, or one day off kind of situation. You could look at that, but you can also control the volume in all of this. You, you don't need to be doing 10 or 12 sets per body part. And if you're in an off season, you can cut it down to six or eight sets per body part because if you're still doing it twice a week, you want to, you're you still getting in 16 or 18 sets per week. And that's enough to keep you growing if you're eating to grow and not you know worried about your abs all the time, not showing. Um, it's a good way to prevent yourself from making big gains is by, uh, you know, uh, worrying about the wrong things at the wrong time in your, while you're doing this. Uh, um, 
So those were the things that, that uh, defined the golden era to me, you know, Greek statue look, the arms, legs, the arms, neck, and calves being the same size, uh, well-proportioned bodies, good mass, but not so much mass that, that you know, it, it was disproportionate, um, and uh, yeah, and health, health. That's what bodybuilding should be about. It should be a healthy endeavor and not a, not a, not some crazy extremist uh, thing where people go to the extremes. And, and I can tell you, you know, I, um, I can understand why people do that, you know. So, but uh, if, if you keep it in perspective and you look long term and you're a natural bodybuilder, it's going to take you a while to get big. So, uh, anyway, golden era. Let's do it.